today's topic is MCQ on fraction. The question is when the object is divided into a number of equal parts, then each part is called a. The options are circle, fraction, decimal, or polygon. The correct answer for this question is fraction. Next question is which of the following is the proper fraction? The options are 8 by 5, 1, 1 by 2, 5 by 9 and none of these. So the correct answer for this question is 5 by 9. Next question is which of the following is the improper fraction? And the option for this question is 8 by 5, 1, 1 by 2, 5 by 9 and none of these. The correct answer for this question is 8 by 5. Next question is Proper fraction can be converted into mixed fraction? Yes or no? So the answer is no. Next question is Improper fraction can be converted into a mixed fraction? Yes or no? So the answer is yes. We can convert improper fraction into a mixed fraction. Next question is convert 8 by 5 into mixed fraction. So now what you have to do firstly you have to divide 8 with 5 and by dividing it you will get your answer like 1 as quotient, 3 as your reminder and 5 will be your divisor. So according to this our correct answer is D that is 1 3 by 5. Next question is mixed fraction can be converted into proper fraction? The answer is no. We cannot convert mixed fraction into proper fraction. Next question is mixed fraction can be converted into improper fraction? So the answer is yes. We can convert mixed fraction into improper fraction. Next question is convert 2 2 by 5 into improper fraction. So when you will convert this given mixed fraction into improper fraction, you will get the answer like 2 5 is 10 and 10 plus 2 12, 12 by 5, right? So 12 by 5 is your answer. So our correct answer is A, 12 by 5. Next question is, in fraction 3 by 5, numerator is, so the, the numerator is 3. Next question, in fraction 3 by 5, what is denominator? So denominator is 5. Next question is fraction with numerator 3 and denominator 5 is means we have to form fraction uh, whose numerator will be 3 and denominator will be 5. So our option for this question is 5 by 3, 3 by 5, 4 by 5 and 1 by 5 and the correct answer is B that is 3 by 5. Next question is, choose the fraction for the given division numeral 23 divided by 5. Means, what is the fractional form of 23 divided by 5? The option for this question is 25 by 3, 23 by 5, 34 by 5 and 21 by 5. You can see in the question 23 is given. So, our correct answer will be B that is 23 by 5. Next question is division numeral of 13 by 18. So our correct answer for this question will be option A that is 13 divided by 18. Next question is the value of proper fraction is always dash than 1. So it is always lesser than 1. Next question is the value of improper fraction is always dash than 1. So, it is always greater than 1. 
Next question is the value of mixed fraction is always less than 1. It is always greater than 1. Next question is the value of 3 by 5 is less than 1. So the value of 3 by 5 be lesser than 1. Next question is the value of 8 by 5 is less than 1. So the value of 8 by 5 is always be greater than 1 because its numerator is bigger than its denominator. Next question is the value of 2 3 by 5 is less than 1. The correct answer will be greater than 1. Next question is the equivalent fraction of 20 by 25. So the equivalent fraction means you have to convert the given fraction into smallest term and when you will change this given fraction that is 20 by 25 into smallest term you will get 4 by 5 right. So the correct answer for this question is C that is 4 by 5. Next question is which of the following pair of a fractions are not equivalent. The options are 3 by 5, 12 by 20, 3 by 4, 18 by 24, 4 by 5, 16 by 25, 1 by 6 and 6 by 36. When you will check, you when you will convert the given fractions into smallest term, you will get the same answer and the correct answer for this question is 4 by 5 and 16 by 25. Why it is the answer? When you will convert 16 by 25 into the smallest term, you will get 4 by 5. So we can say that given both fraction is equivalent fraction. Next question is, which of the following pair of fractions are like fractions? The options are 3 by 5, 12 by 20, 3 by 20, 18 by 20, 4 by 5 and 16 by 25, 1 by 6 and 6 by 36. And the correct answer is B, 3 by 20 and 18 by 20 because the both fractions are having same denominator that is 20. Next question is, which of the following pair of fractions are unlike fraction? And the options are given here, 3 by 7, 12 by 7, B is 3 by 20, 18 by 20, C is 4 by 5 and 16 by 5, and D is 1 by 6 and 6 by 36. And the correct answer for this question will be 1 by 6 and 6 by 36 because both the fractions are having different different denominator. Next question is, tick the correct fraction for the given red color in picture. You can see the picture is given here and uh, the total part, total number of a rectangle is 4 we can say and the colored part is 3. So what is the fractional form of this figure? So what is the, to how many total parts are here? So total part is 4, right? So denominator will be 4 and how many colored part are here? three part of this figure is colored so we can say the fractional form of this uh, figure will be three by four okay and by this matter what is our correct answer our correct answer is d that is three by four yes and the next question is take the greatest one okay so the options are three by five four by five 7 by 5 and 6 by 5 okay so you can see the given of in given options all the fractions are having same denominator and if the denominators are same the numerator which is the greatest one will be the greatest one right so we can say the 7 by 5 is the greatest one now the next question is tick the smallest one so the options are given here 3 by 5, 4 by 5, 7 by 5 and 6 by 5. All the denominators are same. We can say 3 by 5 numerator uh, with smallest one that is 3 by 5 will be our smallest fraction. Next question is take the greatest one. Okay, the options are 7 by 3, 7 by 2, 7 by 6 and 7 by 5. All the given options in the given fractions the numerator for all the fractions are same. So in this case, 
Denominator with the lowest number is the greatest one and by this we can say 7 by 2. 2 is the smallest one so we can say that 7 by 2 will be the greatest one. And the next question is take the smallest one. The options are 7 by 3, 7 by 2, 7 by 5 and 7 by 6. Okay. So the correct answer for this question is 7 by 6 all the given options you can say having the same numerator and if the fractions are having same numerator the the fraction with the bigger number will be the smallest one and by this way we can say that 7 by 6 is the smallest one next question is 1 by 3 is equals to dash by 30 so what we have to do we have to check what is the 3 here is 3 and how it became 30 so now what you have to do let me explain this okay firstly what you have to do you have to divide 30 30 with 3 okay so by dividing this you will get 10 right so now what you have to do you have to multiply this 1 with 10 and your answer will be 10 okay so we can say our correct answer is d that is 10 thank you